And hello guys, welcome back, Tom here from Go Bear Games, back with another video. Today we are doing a Louis Caliber statue tutorial, so it was much requested after the Vanos and H2O Delirious statues, so we decided to design the whole group, I guess you could say. So stay tuned for Wildcat and some other people in the group. Um, so yeah, today we are doing Louis, this was an incredibly hard design, because if you have seen his GTA skin, of course you'll know that it's like... He's wearing like a monkey mask, which has got so much detail. But I think we did a good job. So anyway, this was designed mainly by Tawny Cashew, but um, bits and pieces were helped by me and Predator. Uh, Predator helped make a few changes. I helped on the head. But generally, the main body and stuff was made by Tawny, so thanks to him. So anyway, what we're going to start off by, I guess, is listing the blocks you should need for this tutorial. So you will need stone, black wool, red wool, mushroom block. If you don't know how to get that, you should watch a tutorial on the internet. I'll try and link one in the description. Um, it's pretty easy to get. Silk touch, a mush big mushroom. White wool, yellow wool, grey wool, brown wool, oak wood planks. Oops. Uh, oak wood, um, I guess you can say tree or log that's it log spruce wood log light gray wool and brown carpet so what we're going to start off by doing is building an eight long line let's make sure we're not close to jehovah there we go we're not so an eight long line um of stone we're going to do the front first then the second row we're going to do one black two white two black two white one black like that and for the next six rows is just mushroom block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now mushroom blocks give a more tannish colour rather than uh, oak, which makes them look a bit too dark. So it's a nice peachy colour, I guess you could say, a good skin colour um, for skins like this. So yeah. That's what it should be looking like so far. Next we're going to do the red and black checkered shorts. So it will go red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. And alternate for the next three rows. So basically just make sure that it doesn't touch the um, other colour. So easy way to do it is like that. Whoops. So you just place all of one um, down and then go back. So it should look like this, or you could just uh, copy that. And then what we're going to do for the fifth row is we're going to come into, place one red, one black, one red, one black. And that is it for the checkered shorts at the front. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the white wall, and we're going to go 12 up on this side, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to bring the row next to it up to the same level. And then the rows, two rows on the other side up to the same level as well. Now this is like his white jumper, I guess you could say. Okay, now what we're going to do in the middle, we're going to do four, uh, a 4x4 four four of grey wool. Like that. Then on the fifth row, we're going to do two grey, one yellow, one grey. Next row, we're going to do four grey. Next row, we'll do one grey, one yellow, two grey. Next row, one yellow two grey, one yellow, next row four grey, and then the next row one grey, two mushroom, one grey. And the final row is just four mushroom. So if you got lost in that or need to catch up, pause right here and I'll zoom out as well. So that's where you should pause, it's right now and you should be able to catch up. Um, so far it should be 24 tall, so two, six, technically five, then that grey is 4 high and then the rest you know. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back down to the level with this white wall. And we're going to extend it out to the left and the right by 4 using mushroom blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to double it up on both sides so it's too high. Okay. Then what we're going to do is bring the white wall up 10 and bring it to level with the... Uh, rest of the white wall or the top of the body I guess you could say so it should be like this and again repeat on the other side so it should be going pretty well so far I mean nothing too hard 
the head is by far the hardest part um took us by far the longest time as well but yeah this is what it should be looking like definitely feel free to pause here if you need to and i will continue the video if you are good to go okay so anyways what we're going to do next is we are going to do the sides so we're going to do the uh, right side first so we do four stone or three stone should i say three black because it's four in total but you've already built one so it's three um then we're going to do the exact same so three rows of six so a three by six um of mushroom like that this is what it should be looking like right now then for this pattern on the side rather than checker like that it's not on the sides it's literally just four black um two black one red four black two black one red like that now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a four by four area of mushroom blocks again double it up using that and then we're going to bring it up 10 using the white wall whoops okay so hopefully you got that the other side is pretty much the exact same i will go through it though so it should be looking like that again pause if you need to okay so for the opposite side we're going to do three gray not for not three gray three stone three black then we're going to do the six by three um mushroom thing again now for this side we're going to do two black one red uh three black then we're going to do the one red two black one red and then four black so it's kind of the opposite of the other side the other side it's got the four at the bottom this one's got the four at the top and then the exact same so extend this so it's a four by four double it up and then bring the white wall up to the top i'm doing a kind of a dodgy job with it there we go and that again is that side again feel free to pause right now if you need to again the statue should be 24 blocks tall the legs being 12 and where the arm start is what i deem the chest that should be 12 tall as well okay so now what we've got left is the back and the uh head so what we're going to do is at the back we're going to do going to link the two parts together using stone wall stone wall stone should i say stone wall never said that before uh next row black wall then we're going to bring the mushroom blocks up six again to match everything else. So basically his whole legs are six high, you know. Um, they don't really change, to be honest. That would be kind of weird if they did, but whatever. Um, and again, we just go with the checkered pattern from here. So in this case, it would be black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red. Then next row it would be red, black, red, black, red, black, etc. Hopefully you understood that by now. Um hopefully i don't really need to explain that much more but again i will zoom out just in case you need a visual of it to be able to uh build it i understand some people do need that so i always try and do that now i know i didn't really do that in my oldest tutorials but i'm trying to make my tutorials more easy and accessible for everyone i guess is what you could kind of say okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to double up the mushroom blocks on the hands again because that's what we do, that's how we roll. Um, and then for the white on the arms, we're gonna then bring it up 10 to the top, and we're gonna do that on the exact same, uh, on the exact same on the other side, is what I meant to say. Now for the shoulders and the top of his body, you just fill it in with solid white wool. You don't need to fill it in fully, just this section here, because the head will cover this part, but if you're in creative, you might as well, it makes a nicer building surface. And again, the exact same for this side. Whoops. And as always, I never really recommend you do pixel art and stuff like this in survival because it's not really ideal, the amount of wall you need to get. So anyway, for the middle, what we're going to do is we're going to build it up and we're going to make it solid white wall, but then we're going to end up punching stuff out. So just fill it all in i'm doing it pretty slow way to be honest but hopefully i'll speed this up a bit go so you just fill this whole back in solid white wall but we are going to punch a few blocks out to add slight details such as his hood 
So we need light grey wool for this situation. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in line with the uh, shorts here. We're going to go up to the top. And we're going to punch out four blocks. So that's three, four. There we go. We're then going to punch one to the side. Well, one to the right. Down one. We're then going to go down diagonal and punch three to the side of that. And we're going to go up diagonal, up one to side one, and then up three. So that should also, this line here should also come in line with... Uh, the shorts then you just fill this in with light gray wool and that is the body complete essentially nothing too hard if I'm honest hopefully you guys find it alright and I'm gonna sleep quickly just so you can get a better view get white wool back on my hotbar because it's more useful so yeah it's what it should be looking like right now I'm gonna do a 360 I guess of it let me get my hand and block out of the way just so you can see it a bit easier. So pause, feel free to pause whenever you need to. Let's do a 360 and then we'll move on with the final part, which of course is the head. Probably the hardest head that you would have ever built in Minecraft. So of course, as I mentioned in the previous videos, Vanos and Delirious, this is based on their GTA characters rather than Minecraft skins. I've been recently informed that I do have Minecraft skins, and I watched a couple of their old Minecraft videos on Xbox, and they do have skins, but it's not really skins that are personalised to them, it's just the skin packs of uh, the Xbox edition, I guess you could say. So this is more personalised to them, it's more like interesting, and I feel it's more recognisable than necessarily the other like if I did the other ones and I've had great feedback on these so why not continue the series so anyway for the head what we're going to do we are going to come out um, from the side we're going to come in four then we're going to go out two so full gap out two then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in one with brown wool we're then going to go up diagonal punch that out and up one this is where it gets kind of awkward because it involves placing wood blocks which you know of course is not my favourite thing to do in the world but it's actually quite easy surprisingly and we do four oak wood in fact what we do is we uh, bring this hole down one which nearly made a mistake there so it goes one down rather than one up so you bring it out one with uh, oak wood then one with brown wool and we go down diagonal so we're at level with his neck here so it's kind of it kind of covers his neck um, then we do four oak wood one brown wool we go up diagonal do one brown wool up and just get rid of that okay then what we're going to do on top of this oak logs we're going to do another layer now we're at head level so it kind of comes down one like a hat effect I guess you could say on the third row we're going to do two oak wood the fourth row we do two oak planks and we'll stop it there okay so now what we're going to do in this gap here we're going to place oak wood planks to fill it in like so we quickly add his cigar or cigarette so what we're going to do is we're going to come on the second row of the oak wood the fourth one and place one black wall and then we're going to place one light gray wall because it's like ashy rather than cigarette um, so it should be looking like this so far then what we're going to do next row is we're going to do two oak wood either side like that this is where his eyes are so we are going to place one white wall one black next row we do two black and we do that on the other side as well so it should be looking like this Then on top of his eyes on each side we do one black going up like that because his eyes are kind of like triangular I guess you could say so this is what it should be looking like right now also whilst we're at it we can fill this in here with brown wool like that we don't fill this part in here because it's like a hat effect and it just hangs down I guess okay now what we're going to do is we're going to build this up four using brown wool on each side and we're going to link it together like so then what we're going to do is we're going to place one oak planks next to each eye. We're then going to go up one from there and link it like that. And that's all the oak um, wood planks we're going to need for the front. We'll need some for the side, but we don't need to worry about that. So it should be looking like this right now. Okay, 
Now what we're going to do in these two places here is place spruce wood um, logs. We're then going to fill this all in with brown wool, but we're going to punch them uh, two or three blocks out. Okay, so it should be looking like this right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of the, uh, I guess you could say, head. I'm trying to make sure my audio is nice and loud for you. I just realized my voice was going a bit quiet. Um, go to the top of the head and count one in and place a uh, spruce wood and do the same on the other side. We're then going to go down diagonal inwards like that and place two spruce logs. Okay, so that is the front of the head complete. We're now going to move on to the side. So what we're going to do is we are going to extend this out seven so it overhangs the back by two using brown wool we're then going to fill it in solid so an eight by eight square of uh, brown wool excluding them two oak wood planks there so it's a eight by eight square of brown wool excluding them two oak wood planks okay nothing too hard now what we're going to do is add his ear his ear is kind of 3d so we thought we'd make it 3d so what we're going to do we're going to count three in and on the fourth one, on the second row, fourth block in, we're going to place two oak wood like that. We then go up one to the side one, up two, whoops, then to the side one, up one, and to the side one. Then we've got these three blocks in the middle here. We're going to place three brown wool like that. And then right smack in the middle, we are going to place one spruce um, log. Okay, so next we've got the back of the head. So we're going to do the exact same as the other side, so extend it out, and for the back, it's just solid brown wool again. So it overhangs the two, back by two, make sure that is right. And I'm going to make it an 8x8 eight eight square, as I suggested before, using brown wool. And then there's a few hat effects that we added to his skin. Um, because if you look at his GTA character, he has like some spiky hair. It's like the back of his mask is like spiky. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down diagonal from the top and go down diagonal four times using brown wool. When I'm going on the uh, third one, go up diagonal and to the side one. Down diagonal and down two and then down diagonal to the left. We're going to skip two blocks and place one like that. Okay, then on the top of the head, so we're going to count four in on the fourth block, place one leave gap place one so it should look like that that is the hat effect we gave him at the back to I guess make it look like his hair was like spiky at the back and I think it had a good effect so yeah okay for the side and final side I guess um, we just do the exact same as the other one so it's an 8x8 of brown wool excluding them two oak wood planks at the front so nothing too complicated and then again second row four in two oak wood or two oak planks should i say up one to side one up two whoops to side one up one to side one and we got the three um brown wool and then the one spruce wood log in the middle okay so i'm going to do a quick spin around of the head just to make sure that none of you got left behind i guess or you got confused because i know this probably was quite easy to get confused upon because it is quite a detailed and quite unusual design. I mean, most skins don't have this little part hanging down here. So yeah, so this is what it should be looking like. Pause if you need to. Just going to do a 360 of the design. So yeah, this was a pretty nice design in my opinion. It was one of... We did a few like prototypes for, improved it and stuff like that. But this is the best design we could come up with. And we hope you like it. Or I was about to say enjoy it. But I hope you like it. And if you do like it, leave a like on this video and definitely subscribe if you haven't. We do a lot of stuff like this. When I say we, I mean me and my build team. Because we often design stuff like this as a group. So yeah. Okay, so for the last side of this, we basically use uh, brown wool and car brown carpet and spruce logs. So we can get rid of everything else. Except from these three blocks. Let me just organize these a bit better otherwise it's going to irritate me there we go okay so what we're going to do is we are going to count two in and on the third row we are going to do a row of spruce 
uh, logs like that. Then we're going to skip a row and do another row of spruce logs. Like so. And then we're going to skip another row and do a row of spruce logs. So it should look like this. I know it's kind of lopsided because this side's only got one gap. This side's got two. That doesn't really matter, to be honest, because it still looks good. It's still just an extra hat effect. So for the gaps, we also then just fill it in with brown wool. Okay. So now what you can do is you can either finish here, that being it, or to make it look even more detailed, you can cover these tops up using brown uh, carpets. To be honest, I don't like it just being a brown carpet on its own, so I often just make the whole top brown carpet going around the, uh, what they called, spruce, uh, I can never remember, spruce logs. So just make them go around the spruce logs, and it means that this kind of gives a 3D effect as well. It kind of looks like it, like the details are indented in, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I'll give a like top view of what it looks like. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, found it helpful. If you did, definitely don't forget to smack that like button. Um, and also subscribe if you haven't. We do stuff like this on a regular basis. As you can see in the background, tons of tutorials, two a day at the moment. So yeah, stick around and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I've been Tom. Until next time, goodbye. Chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones. Dig me out, then fill the hole. Tear me apart. Tear me apart. Watch it burn. Tear me apart. Tear me apart. Watch it burn. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it.